And here it is, the Rock and Roller R12. It's their gear transport solution that allows you to bring everything in one trip. So in this review, I'm basically going to be going over, you know, what this thing is, some of the problems I've had with it, the good things, the bad things, and kind of give you guys a little tour of how useful this thing can be. I've got one accessory over here. It's the shelf, the uh, carpeted shelf that goes right here. I'll kind of show you how that looks and works. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and collapse this thing down to show you guys how small this thing will get in, uh, say, like a, a car or an SUV or something like that. So it has a little... Uh, nipple button that you basically press and it goes together. Uh, I believe you lower the back wheels first and then the front and it collapses down pretty dang small. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put this thing back to where it was. And, th and this is, I mean, you could use it in this capacity. You could use it even with this down and then you can go ahead and uh, slide this thing out. Uh, you don't have to slide it all the way out. You can bring it in just a little bit. I believe I don't need the whole length for this setup back here with all this gear. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw a bunch of gear on here and just show you kind of how everything uh, works. What I would recommend you doing is locking the wheels before you throw gear on there, especially you know, if you're not on a level train. So let's throw the big one on first. This is a Pelican. This is the 1650 if you guys wanna look this guy up. Uh, pretty big guy, holds a lot of stuff. Um, let's go ahead and throw, this is the airport international, I believe. Um, we'll throw it this way. So everything's the same width. Um, we can throw another one of these guys. This is the Pelican 1510. I do all my audio gain here. And this is a think tank international. This is a heavy one. <laughs> all my photo uh, gear lenses and all that stuff can pretty much fit in here. All right. So one thing that I would recommend is if you are uh, carting this, you know, down slopes, uh, outdoors, that kind of stuff, you're gonna wanna get a whole bunch of bungee cords because this stuff, you know, it's gonna stay on here pretty good, but a Pelican on top of another Pelican might, you know, kind of topple over, especially if you're going up and down hill. Plus I've got this thing on lock, that's probably not helping me out. It's too much there. So the, lo the locks work pretty good. The wheels are really good. It's, you basically steer it from one end and the back end is stationary. So just giving you guys an idea of how that works. All right, uh, it holds like 500 pounds. So this thing's gonna be able to hold all this gear and have no issues whatsoever. So the real benefit of something like this is me being able to say if I've got a photo booth or something, something going on where I've got to haul this thing through a convention center or I'm gonna be doing portraits like say downtown at UT Austin. And you know, I got to park like eight blocks away, like a half a mile away or something ridiculous. And there's some kind of UT game going on or something like that. I can basically pack up all my gear, roll down there like it's nothing. Uh, the other day I had a portrait uh, booth on a cruise ship or a, uh, it wasn't really a cruise ship. It was like a big boat, a big party boat. And you know, I had to park really far away. I had to haul this thing all the way down to the ship, get everything down there. And I didn't want to have to do five or six trips. You know, it's in the summer, you know, with the conditions and everything. And these wheels held up and it did everything fine. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the shelf on here and show you guys how that works. The shelf can be collapsed, okay? So you can use one segment and actually make the uh, roller cart smaller, basically. And you can use only half of the shelf. So something to consider. It's pretty easy to undo these and to slide everything out and convert that, okay? But I'm gonna do this in the big configuration because why not, right? So this is one of the huge downsides of this thing. So if you're doing this for speed and there's actually two heights that you can put it at, the lower and the, and the higher height, I'm gonna go ahead and do this at the lower height. You gotta unspin these wing nuts. This is the annoying part where, you know, if you're gonna be using this all day or you need this shelf, say for your DJ booth or something like that, you know, it's worth it. But having to do these wing nuts and having to go through this process every single time is a real drag. So um, I'll show you here in a minute. I try coming up with a solution, a cheap solution to get around the time commitment here. Uh, it wouldn't wouldn't work. So I'll show you guys. And I drop these things all the time. Whatever. So I've got this in the lower configuration. So uh, this will actually be. Um, you can actually make it go higher. You may say, "Oh, this is not a big deal," but I mean, this is. You got to break this thing down. 
you got to put it back up. And the whole point of the rock and roller is to be mobile and quick. So just realize the more you make this a real cart, the less slow it becomes. So if you want to throw, you know, the bags on, uh, tie them down, that is a real quick maneuver. Now they do make a bag that you can hang light stands on that goes on one of these uh, in, in bars. And uh, I've talked about looking at one of those because that's probably a better route to go. This guy down here will actually still fit, right? Um, what I will typically do with this shelf is I'll use this shelf as a light stand uh, area. So I'll put C stands, light stands, even strobe heads with, with modifiers on them, just kind of hanging off the side. And I'll basically just put them right here or run them through this little area right here. And then I'll put a uh, bungee cord over the top. And that's how I'm able to do like mobile lighting and just move around a park or something like that. And everything just stays, stays together. It's pretty sweet. But you could of course put, you know, other bags and things like that on top uh, and strap them down independently. Just kind of depend, depends on what you're doing. Um, now they do also make a shelf that's for the base. But just remember though, you know, if you add more parts to this whole puzzle, you're having to build this thing out every time you go out. So that's something to think about um, when, when you purchase these things and make those decisions. I don't use this every time, but when I do, it's necessary and I just have to do it. And they're usually bigger jobs, so it's not as big of a deal. But the breakdown setup of that is kind of a pain. So one of the solutions to this process is I bought a bunch of these pin, these lag bolts with a pin basically. So rather than having to do the wing bolt and screw everything in, I tried this pin, you stick it through the hole, put, push this over the top. The problem is it doesn't keep it connected and real tight. So the thing is loose and it goes back and forth and it just doesn't work. So if anybody has a solution, maybe a solution, a faster wing nut or something that works better, uh, let me know because I'm all ears. Some of the frustrating things with this, with this uh, deal is I feel like these are just too wobbly. Now they hold, they do their job, they're made of good materials, but man, it's just, I just don't like this. I wish there wasn't any play here. Um, you know, especially when you put a lot of weight in these things, you just feel like you're, you're doing a lot. Now they make a R16, which is a lot thicker gauge steel and it's meant for a lot more weight. So that may be something that I should look at and you know, consider when I'm doing the big jobs and I'm carrying a lot of stuff. Now, if you take a look at the base, I do have the stair helper. This thing will help you go downstairs, you know, kind of edge your way down. Um, big wheels, man. I mean, just really, 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 really big wheels. Uh, there's no air inside these tires. They are um, foam core, so you're not going to get flat tires, although they still have that all-terrain, you know, feel. You got a lot of clearance, so if you're riding out in the, uh, you know, grass or you're having to go over mud or something like that, this will handle. Um, and, of course, you've got the stops. Um, here on the uh, front wheels, uh, which is real nice. Um, some little things that I don't like about these is, you know, in, in the kit, they wanted you to actually oil these yourself. They didn't provide any oil. So, uh, you know, that was kind of annoying. It's like, oh, okay, now I gotta go to the hardware store and buy and buy oil. Um, another weird issue that I had, you had these, these little nuts with the uh, pins to hold these, these uh, joints. So you could actually take the wheels off if you wanted to really collapse this thing down and lay it you know, even flatter, say you're shipping this or something like that. But uh, the issue is um, I had to actually take a drill bit and drill out these holes um, because the, the pin wouldn't go through and it was just a manufacturer issue. And they even noted it in the instructions that you, know, you may have issues, you may have to take sandpaper to it and all that. And I'm like, you know, just ship it correct. <laughs> you know, you don't, if you're having issues consistently, you're having to put it in the you know, manual that you may have to like, you know, uh, deal with the issues of the hole not being big enough, you know, you need to, to do a better quality assurance. So, so little things like that are kind of annoying. But on the other hand, you know, there's nothing on the market that does this, that has the small form factor that offers the stuff that I need it to do. And so this is really an, an, an incredible uh, deal, really, in my opinion. So the takeaways. So would I buy this product again? Absolutely yes. You know, there are some minor drawbacks, which I discussed in the video, but overall, there's nothing on the market right now that I think is doing what this cart does for someone like me. You know, the R12 is clearly for someone who needs to go off, off road, maybe on grass or gravel or down steps, thing, things like that. You know, they have some smaller uh, versions of the rock and rollers 
that are kind of more geared towards like the audio crowd. You know, they're gonna be on paved surfaces. They're not gonna be going up and down hills as much. You know, for someone like me where I may be, you know, on location somewhere, I may be doing video or photography. Um, what I've even found myself doing is using the cart as like a little uh, table. So I'll take it on a graduation shoot, for example, and they'll use and they'll hang their uh, gowns on it or, you know, shoes or whatever. So it kind of becomes this mini bench. I can see myself in the future using it almost like uh, as a place to review footage and do a little bit of pre-production or, you know, monitoring your work and things like that. Maybe have a laptop there, stuff like that. So kind of cool. This thing will save your back. It'll save you time. It'll save you money. You know, if I can hire one less person or if I can do something myself or if I can show up later and I have to show up so early to go set up, uh, all the better. You know, if I can move quickly from different locations, um, this, this cart is going to allow you to do that. I'm really curious to check out the R14 and the R16, which are, you know, more beefier versions of the R12. They still have those big tires um, because I'm curious how they hold up and what kind of loads that they can hold. I'd like to get my hands on some of the other attachments. So they make a shelf attachment that has like a multi-layer. Uh, they also make a carpeted base, and I'm curious how that goes on and what that entails. And they also make a bag that holds stands and it loops around the backside. Really curious to get, to get my hands on that and try that out. So I hope this review has been useful. Uh, if you use Amazon like I do, I encourage you to use the links in the description box. It allows me to keep producing these videos and it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, anyways, guys, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next week.